And I remember when they gave me my first assignment to cover the historic election of President Barack Obama. And I felt so lucky, so hopeful. I was like, yes, this is it. I've come to post-racial America, where the notion of us and them is being eroded and will probably be eradicated in my lifetime. Boy, was I wrong, right? Why didn't Barack Obama's presidency alleviate racial tensions in our country? Why do some people still feel threatened by immigrants, LGBTQ and minority groups who are just trying to find a space in this United States that should be for all of us? I didn't have the answers back then. But on November 8, 2016, when Donald Trump became our president, it became clear that a large part of the electorate sees them as the others. Some see people coming to take their jobs or potential terrorists who speak a different language. Meanwhile, minority groups oftentimes just see hatred, intolerance, and narrow-mindedness on the other side. It's like we're stuck in these bubbles that nobody wants to burst. And the only way to do it, the only way to get out of it, is to realize that being different also means thinking differently. It takes courage to show respect. In the words of Voltaire, I may not agree with what you have to say, but I will fight to the death to defend your right to say it. Failing to see anything good on the other side makes a dialogue impossible.